Hello everyone, this is Jacob Radford, and this is my second tutorial for Autodesk Fusion 360. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create precise shapes and how to use some beautifying tools that will allow you to customize your shapes better. So, there's a specific shape I'm going to be making today. I will try to edit it in. If not, you'll see uh, what it looks like here. So, I'm going to start a sketch, and this time, Let's just move into a better view here. I am going to use the line. So last time we used these regular shapes. I'm gonna use the line sketch. It will help me create an irregular shape. So I will start the first side of my sketch, and you'll notice there there's a it's highlighted in blue. It is a number that shows the length of the side. You'll see it moving up and down as I move the cursor around. So if you don't want to make a line that is on an exact grid point what you can do is you can actually type in a length you want it to be so i want mine to be five inches i type five and then inches and it makes it five inches long and then my shape is not quite done yet so i'm gonna sketch the second one i also want that one to be five inches and it's turned out quite large here, so let's zoom out. Here we go. I'm going to put the next line down. I want this one to be one and a half inches. Uh, again, I will just type it in the box there. Actually, that is, that is incorrect. I put that line incorrectly. So, here we go. Another tutorial item. You can use Control z to reverse what you've just done if you mess up like I did there. I want the line to be three and a half inches. So I'll click where I want it to start, I'll drag it out, and 3.5 inches, and there we have it. And then I want this line to be one and a half inches. There we go, the line is one and a half inches. I'd like this one to also be one and a half. And I'm just going to continue this process until I have the shape that I want. And there we go. You'll see it's outlined in blue. That means my sketch is complete. So I'll press finish sketch. And I'm going to use the orbit tool to get a better view on it. And there is my sketch. And now I, I want to extrude it. So last time we used the arrow to extrude. You can do that. but You'll notice here it also has a box with a number in it. I would like my extrusion to be 3 inches, so I will type that in and enter, and there is my final shape. Now, there are also a couple other things I'm going to do to make this shape look better. So, there's a tool up here we have called Fillet. And it will help you, as you can see there in the description, it will help you round the edges of a shape to make it, you know, just look more smooth. So I'll select fillet, I will click on the edge that I want to fillet, and then you can see here my cursor is in the box with the number. So like last time, I will type in however much I'd like it to be. You can see I typed one inch, and it created a rounded edge there. And I'll press enter, and that will do the fillet that I requested. So I'll do it for this one too. We'll do two inches on this one. You can see there it created quite a large fillet. It doesn't necessarily look good, but that's an example of what you can do for the fillet tool. And you can use that on any edge of your shape you'd like. You simply click on the edge and fillet. And so now what happens if you mess something up and want to edit it but not necessarily delete it? So what we can do is we have down here in the left a record of everything we've done on this shape. So I would like to edit my extrusion. I originally did it 3 inches. I want it now to be 4 inches, I decided. So I'll click on the extrusion here. I'll click Edit Feature, which will allow me to change what I did. And then you see there it's 3 inches. Well, no, I want it to be 4 inches. So I'm going to change it to 4 there. And then I'll press enter, and there we go. It's now a 4-inch extrusion rather than a 5-inch one. Uh, that's about it for this tutorial. 
I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.